Good evening, Melrose. This is Mayor Paul Broda. The Massachusetts Department of Public Health has changed its policy and is now reporting data at the city and town level regarding cases of COVID-19. They released their first report covering January 1st through April 14th, which shows 86 confirmed cases in Melrose. EPH will provide weekly updates of this information, and I will report those numbers as they are received. For residents seeking additional data about COVID-19 cases in Massachusetts, including breakdowns by county, age, ethnicity, as well as hospital case information, please visit the DPH website at the address appearing on the screen below. I have also heard some concerning stories of people who are reluctant to call 911 or their doctor when they exhibit symptoms because they think they will overwhelm the healthcare system. Please understand that our medical professionals and first responders are available and ready to respond. If you think you need help, especially if you experience shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, or pain in your chest, please make the call. These are life-threatening emergencies and you should seek care. Melrosians should also know that the Massachusetts legislature has passed an act providing for a moratorium on evictions and foreclosures during the COVID-19 emergency. The bill, which still needs to be signed by Governor Baker, will provide much needed protection for residential and small business tenants during the pandemic. I wanna thank our delegation, Representative Kate Lipper-Garabedian and Senator Lewis for their continuing leadership at the State House. Finally, today marks the seventh anniversary of the Boston Marathon bombing. Please take a moment to remember those who were killed or injured as well as the medical personnel and first responders who helped that day. Let's also remember the tremendous community spirit that arose in reaction to that tragedy. It is a reminder that together we will get through this. So please stay at home and avoid contact with others. Respect the recommended curfew from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Wear a face covering whenever you leave home. Stay at least six feet away from other people at all times. Please wash your hands and clean and sanitize surfaces frequently. Those are the important steps we need to keep ourselves and our community safe. Thank you and good night.